if you're wondering why I'm just dressed like this, it's Sunday, it is the day of rest. I can't even be bothered with makeup today. So it's just an easy eyebrow look that we love to see. guys and welcome back to my channel so today I'm just going to be doing a very simple and easy how to do a fluffy eyebrow everyone does it their own way however for me I honestly just use two things brow gel and an eyebrow pencil that is it it's very simple follow my steps to achieve fluffy brows so to start off Literally, just gonna get the spoolie to the end of my brow, off the end of my brow. And that, okay. Um, we're just gonna get the end of the spoolie off my eyebrow pencil and just brush up the brows. Very, very simple. Like so. Oh, what is that on my eye? That hurt. Now a good tip for when you're growing out your brows is never touch the tops. Get rid of underneath, like it depends which one you go for. I used to go for threading and then I just couldn't be bothered anymore. Like I lived in London at the time so it was always having to find a random shop that wasn't literally going to pull the skin out. The amount of times I have been to get my eyebrows threaded and the women that do it they pull so hard on the thread that I end up getting like little tiny little marks and cuts and I'm not here for it. I'm not here for a scabby brow. I'm here for a fluffy brow. So I ended up just waxing on myself. I tried threading on myself but it was, just, it was way too hard. It was not about that. So I wax them myself and then any leftovers I literally just pluck out. So it isn't too bad so I'll always go underneath the brow just here just here at the top I'll just get scissors and cut them down if they're like too overgrown but we love to see overgrown eyebrows so I'm here for it so this is a revolution pro pencil stick I think it's in the shade chocolate or dark brown honestly I have no idea um, all I do to start off with um, first of all I do start off with the opposite eye to which my pencils in so because I'm right-handed I'll start off with my left eyebrow and then go to my right, if that makes sense. So all I'm going to do is here, I have a lot of um, light hair where I'm still trying to grow it out. Like you can see, but you can't. From a distance it looks like it kind of stops here, but it doesn't. Trust the process. So all I'm going to do is just that way, is just go in where it goes lighter, just here and do really light strokes like so you kind of need to make them look real so start off like that and just follow the shape of which the hair is going so if the hairs at this part the end of the brow are going down flick down if you're doing the top of the brow flick it up kind of makes sense As you can see now the brow is starting to fill out a little bit more and it still looks really natural so just flick that about and then once you do that keep using your spoolie just to um, smudge it out in a sense to just make sure it's all blended in into the brow And then as you're doing it, make sure you're still keeping a shape. If not, concealer come through. But it depends. If I'm not necessarily wearing foundation that day, I'm not really a big fan of wearing a lot of foundation. I only really wear it like if I'm going out, out. And with Corona, ain't no one going out, out because nothing's open. So you'll only really catch me wearing it if I'm going to work because I always have to have a full face of makeup for work or if I'm literally out with the girls other than that it would just be a brow 
Maybe a pair of lashes, depending on how I feel. Might be mascara and a glossy lip because I don't know what's going on with the weather, but my lips be dry and it's not cute. So, as that starts to fill in and make a shape, like so, see the difference? Here's sparks, here's done. And also, I never ever touch the insides here. Never. I always leave them. So then once you're happy with the little feathered strokes and the brow, all I do then is I'll push it up just to make sure, like so. And then this is where the brow gel comes in. So I use the NYX Control Freak Eyebrow Gel. This is, um, just so you can see it, I think this is about £7, £7.50. It's actually quite a bargain. Um, and it's a clear gel as well. So I just get that. And I pop it on the brow. Just pulling it through. Like so. And it kind of just comes alive. It looks very natural. Go through it just a couple of times. Because... I do like my eyebrow to hold still, so it depends if you like, you know, a hard eyebrow. So when, that sounds crazy, when I put mine on, I do put a couple of layers on just because I do not want my eyebrow to move at all. So when it dries, it looks natural, but the brow hairs can be a little bit hard, but it just, it just depends. And then I will do that, so it's all sticking up around the edges. But that's fine because then we can just put them into shape whenever you're ready. So then once we've done that one, we'll just do the same on the next one. And then once again, back in with the brow gel, just to pull them up. I would suggest if you don't have brows that just naturally grow on their own, um, I would suggest an eyebrow serum. They can be quite pricey just because they will give you better results. But I'd suggest it all. I did used to use coconut oil. I'd get coconut oil, warm it up in my fingers, and then just I'd put it on my lashes and my eyebrows. And I think it actually helped to be honest, but that was like many years ago. And then so that's that. All brushed up. Now one thing I do like to do is because you know the brows are never even they're just not like ever is this brow sits lower than this brow can you see? I don't know if you can see it's not cute so I always put extra gel just on the inside of this one as it's drying so it like it will definitely keep it there then like so and it doesn't matter if the brow gel gets onto your skin because it literally just wipes off very easy I leave them just to stick up a little now depending on your preference so sometimes I will get my spoolie and I will just go around them like so just to neaten them off or sometimes I'll just keep them looking a little bit spiky because why not and that is my how to do fluffy brows in five minutes it is the easiest process, honestly. So easy. And natural. Very natural. And 
and that is it so simple so easy depending on your preference you can go around the eyebrow with concealer however if i was just going out i don't know popping out to the shops getting some bits whatnot i'd leave them like this depending on my mood but you know it is what it is i hope this tutorial helped you all i will link um both the eyebrow pencil and the eyebrow gel in the description below in case you did want to purchase them let me know how you got on if you did purchase them if you do have any questions do let me know below don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next video thanks for watching